Welcome to MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Image Viewer Widget. In this course, I'll present the steps necessary to take a photo with the help of the Photo Uploader widget, placed on a predefined document, and display it with the help of the Image Viewer widget in another document. You can use the Image Viewer widget to view and navigate between images in MicroStrategy Mobile for iPhone, iPad, or Android. The Image Viewer widget can display images stored in a public location and is often used in collaboration with the Photo Uploader widget, which requires transaction services. The image storage folder has to be publicly available on the Intelligence server in order to retrieve the images. Using MicroStrategy Desktop, MicroStrategy Web, and MicroStrategy Mobile, we'll create the report with the appropriate structure to serve as a data set for the document in which we will create and configure the Image Viewer widget. Let's start with an example use case. An inspector visiting stores wants to submit an inspection report while out in the field on location. On the first screen, we click on Launch Survey. At the top left-hand corner, the document contains a photo uploader widget that enables the inspector to take a picture of the store. I'll demonstrate this functionality by taking a picture of my surroundings. Tap on Add Photo. Take New Photo and click on Use. We can also enter an optional comment. Let's enter water wall pattern. Tap save and continue. The photo that we have taken is saved. The next step is to display a photo taken with the photo uploader widget on an image viewer widget. It's placed on the next panel after the panel with the photo uploader. Let's swipe between panels to display the image viewer widget. As we can see, it displays images available in the location specified in the report that serves as its data set. Among those images, there is also the photo that we have already taken with the photo uploader. Now I'm going to show you how to create and use the image viewer widget. In the following scenario, we are going to display the images uploaded with the photo uploader widget. To start, let's enter the photo uploader document on the iPad. In this transaction services document, we can find the photo uploader widget. Let's take one more photo. I will provide the comment floor carpet pattern and then click use to upload the photo with the widget. The document is configured to store uploaded images in a folder called saved images on the mobile server. This is done after selecting the Submit button, which activates a predefined transaction linked to it. According to this transaction, the location and description of the images are stored in separate columns of a table named Pictures in the database represented by the database instance named MPT underscore Survey QA. Now we need to define an appropriate dataset for the Image Viewer widget. This dataset should contain an attribute with one form pointing to a location where the image you want to display are stored. We're going to create a freeform SQL report to retrieve the photo location and photo description fields from the photos table. In desktop, create a new report and choose freeform sources tab. Check the creative freeform SQL report box and select the database instance. In our case, the database instance is called MPT underscore survey QA. In the upper pane, enter the following SQL statement. The photo flag equal to one indicates that the picture is actually a photo taken with the photo uploader widget. Let's map the columns mentioned in the SQL statement with two respective attributes. Right click the lower section and select add new attribute form. Repeat this action once again. You can type any name you want for the objects you'll be defining in this section. For column number one, type photo name for instance. It means that in our case, the location of the photo will serve as its name, which will be later displayed on the image viewer widget. For column two, type photo caption as the name. It means that the data stored in the photo description column will later serve as the information displayed for the photo. Let's run the report to see that everything works. As we can see, we need to save it before we can run it. Let's save it as image viewer report. In the report results, here we see that the photo we have already taken is also taken account. 
which means that the transaction was successful. Note that the report can be a regular report, not necessarily freeform, as long as it contains an attribute with a form pointing to images. In the tutorial project, the attributes category or item could have been used as they both contain a form called image that points to a folder where images are stored. In MicroStrategy Web, we will now create a document for iPad. Let's add the image viewer report that we have created as a data set to our document. To provide a better visual, let's set the background color to black. And for better scalability, modify the zoom option value to be 75%. Insert the grid component into the document. Then add the photo name and photo caption attributes to the widget's template. The first attribute stores locations where images can be accessed, whereas the second attribute stores additional image descriptions. Now we will configure the grid to be displayed as an image viewer widget on the iPad. Right-click the grid and select Properties and Formatting. Then select Widget option and choose the image viewer from the drop-down list of available mobile widgets. I will now describe various styles with which images can be displayed on the widget. Click on the Widget Properties icon to open the widget's configuration editor. There are three ways of presenting images on the widget, depending on your preferences. The first option is called Slideshow, and this is the default one. You can change the currently displayed image by swiping horizontally. The second option is called Film Strip. This allows you to scroll through images vertically or horizontally, depending on the value of the scroll direction parameter. The third option is called Matrix. In Matrix, you can display images in a table layout with specified numbers of rows and columns. In this case, we'll keep the default option Slideshow. We also have the option to describe images by selecting captions from the attributes available on the widget's template. There's no obligation to set up the captions, but we will specify them as follows. We use photo name attribute as a first caption line and photo caption attribute as a second caption line. Additionally, you can change other settings such as the background and border colors of the widget, as well as the widget's border width. In our case, let's set the widget's background color to be the same as the document's background. So let's choose the black color here. And also, let's specify the border color to be gray, which is earth tone, but still a distinguishable color. For the border width, let's retain the default selection of five pixels. We can resize the grid according to our preferences to improve image visibility. The grid should be large enough so that all images are clearly visible. Let's now save the document as Image Viewer Widget. Okay, let's go and check the result on the iPad and run the document we have just created. On the Image Viewer Widget, the floor carpet pattern photo that we've taken is displayed along with the other photos. I'll now show you the other ways to present images. Here we have the Image Viewer Widget using the Film Strip option. This time, when we scroll horizontally, it seems like images are placed in a single, continuous strip. However, we should consider some limitations associated with this option. All images will be displayed with the same size, so they should have similar resolution. Otherwise, some of them might appear as blurred and not clearly visible. And the last option is Matrix. Here we have all images presented in the form of miniatures, placed in a defined number of rows and columns. In our case, there are two rows and two columns. After selecting one of the images, it is displayed alone on the widget. After this, we can go back to the matrix view again. To conclude, using the photo uploader widget combined with the image viewer widget is a great way to upload fresh new photos and display them right away in your custom document. And that's a wrap for this model course on the image viewer widget.